Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. How are you all? I hope you are doing good. You know, my dear students, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Surely Allah and his angels send blessings on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. O you who believe, call for divine blessings on him and salute him with a worthy salutation. Surat Al-Ahzab, verse 56. This means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invoked blessings on Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and his angels also do the same. So if Allah and his angels are doing this, we should also do the same. Let's see how we can do this. The best form of prayer upon the Prophet Muhammad is reciting Durud Ibrahimi. Recite with me. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Innaka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin. وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد. So this is the best form of prayer which we can recite for our beloved Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم because it includes salutation not only for Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم but also for his for his uh, generation, for his uh, um, uh, offsprings. Because as Allah sent salutations on Prophet Ibrahim salam and his uh, offspring, which is one of uh, one of him, our Prophet Muhammad peace upon him. So here we pray that Ya Allah, please send salutations on not, uh, on Prophet Muhammad peace upon him as you send your blessings on Prophet Ibrahim salam and his uh, offspring. So this is how we pray for Prophet Muhammad wasallam in the best way. It's a complete way and we recite this form of prayer in our Salah also. The easy form of prayer Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad wa barik wa sallim prayer to be recited on Friday 80 times after Asr Salah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin in Nabiyyi Lummiyyi wa ala alihi wa sallim taslima. This you can recite 80 times after you perform your Asr Salah. Short form of prayer. Whenever the name of Prophet Muhammad is taken in front of us, we should recite Sallallahu alayhi Sayyidina Muhammadin wa alihi wa sallim. So now my dear students now you know different forms the lengthy the small the best form of salutations for prophet muhammad peace be upon him so whichever you find easy memorize it by heart and make it your duty to recite for prophet muhammad peace be upon him as you know why we are doing this we do it because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing this so it is the sunnah of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his angels so when it's done by Allah, means it is also our duty, religious duty to send salutations of Prophet Muhammad, on Prophet Muhammad wasallam, because he was the best among all the people and he prayed a lot for us when he was alive. So now it's our duty to pray for him. Let's have a look at the importance of sending durood on Prophet Muhammad wasallam accomplishment of religious obligation as I told you as, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing this so it means it's our religious obligation it's not choice it's we have to do it it brings believer closer to Allah and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. and
and bring it being a part of our compulsory prayer. If we will not recite Durud e Ibrahim in our prayer, our prayer will not be completed. So we have to recite Durud in our prayer. We have to invoke salutations, blessings on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu whenever we pray Salah. Completion of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Right. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu reported that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said, May his nose soil with dust in whose presence mention is made of me and he does not supplicate for me. So my dear students, this is very important to take, uh, to send salutations on Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, to invoke blessings on him whenever the name of Prophet Muhammad is taken in front of us sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you will not do so, what will happen? Your nose soil will dust. Means we will be the worst among people. We will be lower in our grades, in our status in, in this world and in the hereafter. So if we want to save ourselves, we will recite. We should recite and we have to recite Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam whenever the name of Prophet Muhammad is taken in front of us. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So our status will be raised and increased, inshallah. Now I would like to share with you the benefits of sending salutations on Prophet Muhammad wasallam. You will be amazed when you will know the benefits of sending salutations on Prophet Muhammad wasallam. There are so many benefits. After knowing this, you would love to recite uh, Zurud on Prophet Muhammad I am sure about this. If we recite Zurud before and after every dua, our supplication, our dua will be accepted. And if we will not do so, our dua will keep on hanging between the earth and in the sky. So if you want your dua, your dearest wishes to come true, always recite Zurud before and after your dua. So your dua will reach to Allah successfully and will be accepted, inshallah. We are given reward of 10 good deeds and 10 bad deeds are forgiven for us. So, you will not do anything, you will only recite the root and you will get 10 good deeds and your 10 bad deeds will be forgiven. Isn't it amazing? All your concerns and sorrows will be removed from you. You will feel lighthearted, you will feel satisfied and Allah will ease your problems for you. His needs will be satisfied and prayers will be accepted. All your wishes will come to pass, inshallah. Why? Because you are continuously making dua for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sending this durood means you are continuously making dua for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And if you will make dua for him, definitely this will be accepted. And the best part of this dua is, this is form of a worship which is never rejected. This is form of a worship which you are following the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is anyhow will be accepted from you wherever you are, whatever you do. Either you say short dua or either you say long prayer, it will be accepted inshallah. Let's have a look at more benefits. The person who recites the root will be closest to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him on, in the day of judgment. Hazrat Abdullah ibn Masood narrates that Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, On the day of Qiyamah, the person closest to me will be the one who has sent the most durood unto me. For one who sends blessing on him, it is glad tidings in his life that he has been granted his place in paradise. So would you like to be the one who stands closest to Prophet Muhammad peace upon him on the day of judgment? Yes, if you want so, you have to recite a lot of turud. And being closest to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in the day of judgment means you got the glad tiding, the good news that you will be granted a place in paradise. So this is kind of a guaranteed news that you are going to go in paradise if you will keep reciting durood every time you get a time start reciting the root on prophet muhammad sallam. to not waste any moment whenever you have time or even you don't have time or anybody takes name of prophet muhammad in front of you 
say sallallahu alaihi wasallam as much times i am taking the name of prophet muhammad say it with me sallallahu alaihi wasallam jazakallah the another benefit is on fridays durood send durood abundantly on me as it is presented before me this is said by prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as i told you the friday prayer اللهم صل على محمد النبي الامي وعلى اله وسلم تسليما في بل ريسايد ذس درود اور اني درود اون اون فرايدي ات ويل بي بريزنتد سايد ا لوت ا لوت ات ويل بي بريزنتد تو بروفيت محمد بيس بي ابون هيم ويتش مينز ذات ات كوزز ذا ورشيبر نيم تو بي شون تو بروفيت محمد اند ذا منشن اوف ذا ورشيبر تو هيم ات مينز Angels will inform Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him that this person took your name, this person sent blessings on you. So isn't it a great deal that in this entire world your name is presented in front of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? And this means that Prophet Muhammad becomes happy and he will look at you with happiness. And when you will pray for him, definitely he will pray for you. And you know your every wish will come true, inshallah. benefit another benefit there are many benefits many many benefits that if you will keep on listening they will never finish and it will make you fall in love with sending salutations on prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam raising one's status by 10 times we are given reward of 10 good deeds and 10 bad deeds are forgiven for us abdullah bin amr bin alas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu reported i heard the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying Whoever supplicates Allah to exalt for me, Allah would exalt him ten times. Say, my dear students, how many blessings we will receive by just reciting the root? Let's have a look at more benefits. It is a safeguard against poverty. The person who keeps reciting, Allah will make him make ways for him towards uh, towards prosperity. and he will earn a lot of money also he will be successful in this world and in the hereafter even it's your exam your interview your test any test any difficulty in your life you will pass it successfully inshallah so you will be know if there is anyone poor who will recite it a lot he will no more poor he will be no more poor it saves one from being branded a miser or a stingy a uh, miser is a person who has a lot of money but they do not spend even not on themselves so they are they get this branded that they are uh, they have this name forever so if person uh, has uh, keeps reciting turud on prophet muhammad peace be upon him allah will open his heart allah will refine his character and his manner and he will become a better person It compensates for giving charity for those who are too poor to give it. So, if a person is too poor and cannot give uh, charity, uh, he will get. If he will keep reciting the root, it 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 will be considered as a charity from as a charity from his part, and Allah will make way from him for him to uh, get out of his poverty, and Allah will make him prosperous. It refines worshippers' character and manner. With the blessings of reciting the root, Allah will make that person a good person. It is a mean for a worshipper to find ease upon crossing the pass over the hellfire. You know there will be pull serat, which is which will be uh, uh, which will be on the hellfire. So as much time uh, we we can cross it easily, we will pass the hellfire. The moment we will fall down, we will. find our place may be in the hellfire or may be in the jannah so as many times you will receive recite it will make uh, your that journey easier and faster for you to cross the pass over the hellfire the pul sirat and the more easier we cross the path the more quicker we will reach to jannah inshallah and you know these are the facts and they will happen one day so we have to keep ourselves ready for that day inshallah it earns the prophet's love for the servant of allah the more you will make dua for prophet muhammad peace be upon him the more the prophet's love will increase for you inshallah sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
so we have to say this by being mindful by keeping all the benefits and importance and blessings in our mind say it with your heart it will increase the love of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in your heart the more you will say it with your love with your sincere feelings the more benefits you will receive don't just read it with your tongue feel it also what you are saying it is a means of obtaining the mercy of allah the more you the more you will make dua for prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah will be more merciful to you you want allah to be kind to you all the time and to help you all the time recite this dua inshallah because this is kind of a prayer for prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ali radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu said that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a miser is the one who hears my name but he does not pray upon me we know one definition of miser it's a person who has a lot of money but he is not spending it even on himself or even for any important thing so according to prophet muhammad the miser is the one who hears the name of prophet muhammad but he does not pray upon him Mean, uh, means he has the ability to say salute to send salutations or to invoke blessings on prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but still he gets miser and he does not say uh, sell, he does not send salutations of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so if it's up to you now you want to be a miser or you want to be the one who say, recite a lot of dua for prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam now wasila this is also the biggest thing about which prophet muhammad peace upon him ask us to make dua for him if you will make this dua for prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you will see what you benefits you will receive subhanallah prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when you hear the muazzin repeat muazzin the one who give azan the person who may give azan repeat what he says then invoke a blessing on me for everyone who invokes a blessing on me will receive 10 blessings from allah then beg from allah al wasila for me which is rank in paradise fitting for only one of allah's servants and i hope that i may be the one that one if anyone asks that i be given the wasila he will be assured of my intercession So here Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him told us to do a few things. Number 1 when we hear azan we should repeat after muazzin. Number 2 when azan finishes we should say sallallahu alaihi wasallam we should recite to rood on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam invokes blessings on him. After that make dua. Which dua? This dua. Simple. Allahumma rabb hadhihi ad-da'wah at-tamma wa as-salat al-qa'ima ati Muhammadan al-wasila. والفضيلة وبعث مقاما محمودا الذي وعدته إنك لا تخلف الميعاد. This is very good dua. If you will make it your habit and recite it after every azan, inshallah, with durud sharif in the beginning and in the end. So what will happen? Prophet Muhammad will definitely intercede for you, and Prophet Muhammad's intercession for you. will never be rejected and will be accepted and inshallah you will go to janna very easily so what is wasila wasila is the rank in paradise okay and that will be given to only one person whoever allah like whoever allah loves and we are hopeful we are sure prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam will get this because we learn from this dua so if we also make uh, put our part in this make this dua for prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam definitely we will uh, make our part for prophet muhammad to get wasila and inshallah allah will give him because he deserve he is the best person on earth so prophet muhammad peace be upon him will also intercede for us and inshallah we will directly go to jannah so this is the best thing the easiest way to get jannah the easiest way to earn the blessings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the easiest way to earn the love of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the easiest way to ease our problems and difficulties and get our wishes i hope you will do it with love with sincere feelings 
and make it your habit whenever the name of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is taken in front of you recite a lot of durood sallallahu alaihi wasallam let's finish today's lesson by saying allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala ali sayyidina muhammadin wa barik wa sallim i request you memorize any of the short or any of the best or any of the dua any of the form of durood which you can recite easily and continuously learn it memorize it by heart and make it your habit i hope you will do this and i hope you will enjoy, you have enjoyed today's lesson and i hope uh, by reciting a lot of durood we are ending up by receiving a lot of blessings from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thank you very much for being with me uh, and take very good care of yourself assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh